Dr. Sukimi Vegapong's master and Vegapong's past review. So guys, this video is going to be heavily centered around three things. Dr. Sukimi, Vegapong and NL Space Operations. Without further ado, let's get into the analysis of this theory. So Dr. Fukimi was a resident of Karakuri town, which by the way is Vegapong's native island and the same island Frankie was sent to pre-time skip by Bartholomew Kuma. We aren't told how long it has been since Dr. Sukimi passed away but one thing is certain Dr. Tsukimi was a very good robotics engineer. He actually created four automators namely Spacey, Cosmo, Galaxy and Marco. These automators were like Dr. Tsukimi's companions but Dr. Tsukimi passed away in some sort of violent way. One day when they were eating their dumplings and watching the moon an explosion took place on the moon which caused Dr. Tsukimi to die out of choking from his own dumplings. Having done this the automator were furious and decided to depart for the moon to take out the culprit. Upon alighting on the moon they discovered the culprits were kind of pirates and they were space pirates. So the space pirates easily wrecked them and defeated them. Fast forward to Luffy defeating Enero who went to the fairy world as it is called and Enero alighted on the moon as well. He actually stumbled upon these very automators and saved them from the hands of these space pirates. Enero indirectly saved them because his electrical abilities enabled them to power up their circuits. But the most important aspect about this was the fact that Enero came across the ruins of a mysterious civilization called the Birkan civilization. Birka, by the way, was the name of Enero's hometown which he had destroyed previously, so it did ring a bell. The most important aspect about this civilization was the fact that they departed from the moon due to lack of resources and it is stated they went to the Blue Star, the Blue Star being the Earth, in search of more resources. One of the ways the automata traveled was by balloons which was quite similar to the way the automata Dr. Tsukimi created moved to the moon because they used balloons as well so this in itself was one of the aspects that struck me meaning the automata Dr. Tsukimi created used the reverse means to access the moon whereas the automata which were created on the moon used balloons to head for the earth but the most important aspect about these two automatas was the fact that the automata created by Dr. Tsukimi were strikingly similar to those which were on the moon. Upon discovering the ancient ruins, Enel discovered that there were automators that were in some sort of rigid state and upon using his electrical abilities, he created an army of automators or powered up an army of automators to be more precise and that is the army Enel has at the moment. The issue I had with this was the fact that how was Dr. Tsukimi, seemingly a human, able to create automators that were similar to those of the ancient civilization. That is where I actually got spiked and what if Dr. Tsukimi lived on Karakuri Island many years before Vegapunk was born and when Vegapunk was born he was instructed on the ways of Devil Fruit's robotic engineering which resulted into the Pacifista cyborg engineering and all that under the tutorship or mentorship of Dr. Tsukimi who later on passed away because it is stated that Vegapunk is at the very least 500 years ahead of his time in terms of technology which would mean that Vegapunk must have learned about this in some way so Dr. Tsukimi could be the hidden puzzle to resolve Vegapunk's origins. This theory could also go in another manner. What if Dr. Tsukimi was a descendant to the first humans who came in contact with the Beacons when they decided to live on the earth due to shortage of resources they had on the moon. So we know that the Beacon civilization got split up into three. You had the Shandorans who lived in the city of gold which was on the earth but the Nokok stream carried it upwards. You had the Skypeans and you had the Birkans. What if Dr. Tsukimi was part of the first humans who came in contact with the Shandorians who in turn shared the knowledge they had about robotics to these people? What if the blueprints to the automata Dr. Tsukimi created prompted Vegapunk to move forward in technology and upon discovering this was was able to create pacifista and all the like. What if Dr. Tsukimi's lineage linked him more to even the Birkans? The only problem with this aspect would be that Dr. Tsukimi was never portrayed to have wings so it must mean that he, in some way he might 
after being a human. The only positive qualm about this is that Eno removed his wings as well but I don't think that would have been the case for Dr. Sukumi so we are going to remain with the fact that he was a human whose ancestors had come in contact with the Birkans in summary and that is why Dr. Sukimi must have tutored Vegapunk to become the man that he is today. So that is the theory I have. In conclusion, we would say that Dr. Sukimi's ancestors came in contact with the Birkans who shared their technological advancements and skills to the humans who then passed this information from generation to generation until it got to Dr. Sukimi who then tutored Vegapunk and passed away. Vegapunk used the information Sukimi had and was able to advance technological wise cause it is stated that the Birkan civilization was a technologically advanced civilization so it makes a lot of sense. So this is the theory let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section subscribe if you haven't already to become part of the blizzard crew and as always people have an awesome day peace out.